Did it help any? Not really. Maximum sentence for someone his age. Another young life disappearing. Ask me who I've been on the phone to and tell me if you've got any posh frocks. I've got us a meeting with our local MP and the Wolford Gazette has agreed to be our media partner. You've lost me. Carmel, we need to do this properly. Otherwise nothing will change and even more parents won't get to see their kids grow up. Do you want to help? Of course I do. Look, I get it. I wish I didn't, but I do. How could I not help? It hasn't been used since then. Not at all. OK. Thank you. So remind me, who was going to move these again? Was it me or you? Are you, um... Are you going somewhere? He had all three of them in his jacket. So what, he was planning to take you and Pearl away with him? Well, that's what it looks like. So he's still in the country, then? Oh, he's got to be. No, no, no. That's something. Yeah? Maybe, maybe you could hire someone and they can track him down. They can, like, follow his... Paper trail or whatever they call it. Yeah, they could. But Vincent hasn't spent any money. Look at this. Look, see that? Hmm. Not a penny touch since he disappeared. Credit cards? No! No transactions, nothing. <sighs> What's he been doing, like, living on thin air? Do you... Before he went, he was so scared. I mean, he couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep. He was a wreck. Scared of what, though? Tim. Something's happened. I know, I, I know, and it's not good. It's really not good. And I don't think it's going to come back. Like ever. I think he's dead. Continuing our celebration of women's voices across the BBC, tune in to Hear Her Day on Six Music All Day tomorrow. Here on BBC One Next, what's for tea tonight? How about a feast for sharing from the quarter-finalists of Britain's best home cook? 